A while ago, I made a comment about how there were so few Starfleet ships named in alien languages, considering the Federation is such a multi-species organisation. Well, that sounds like a video topic to me, so here it is. Hi, Rick here, and before we start, I'll just throw out a couple of clarifications. I have included several apocryphal ships, and I will mention them as such, but there are far more out there than I can reasonably include. I'm also only looking at ships that are exclusively Starfleet starships, as of course most planets' native populace name their vessels in their own tongue. That all said, let's get started with Earth's closest allies, the Vulcans. There is the USS Tacumbra NCC-62100, which is a Nebula-class vessel that had an all-Vulcan crew. Such one-species crews were fairly common in the Federation, mostly for life support requirements, but the Tacumbra was captained by Sodok in 2374. According to the Destiny timeline of books, which is not canon, the ship was destroyed in 2381 in the Borg Battle of the Azure Nebula. An alternate story has the ship still in operation in 2410 as part of Starfleet's Omega Force, which was made as an anti-Borg task force. The name is presumably of Vulcan origin, considering its close ties to the founding species, and its close following of their naming convention. In the vein of Vulcan, we have the USS Tzaplana Haf, NCC-1004. This ship was an Engel-class vessel, presented during the Battle of the Binary Stars in 2256, where it did not survive the conflict. This vessel is, of course, named after the first contact ship encountered by Zephram Cochrane in 2063. This older ship was a 2053-era Vulcan survey vessel, itself named after a famous Vulcan, Taplana Hath, who was Surak's mentor before the Time of Awakening. There are also mentions of an unknown vessel with this name in operation during the 24th century, and because of the prominence of the name in Vulcan culture, I suspect there were many more that just escaped the limelight. Naturally, we have the most famous in-universe Vulcan's name being used in ships too, the USS Surak, with apocryphal mentions of both a Constitution refit and, oh dear, an Oberth class. The Oberth vanished in 2285, don't look for it, it probably blew up. We also have the USS Shikar NCC-31905, named after the capital city of Vulcan, which was a Miranda class. However, it was destroyed in the first Battle of Chintoka against Cardassian forces. There is a mention in Star Trek Online of a Shikar class vessel, which looks like a modernised version of the Miranda class. The USS SeaTac NCC-32591 was another ill-fated Miranda class that was destroyed in the final days of the Dominion War during Operation Return. Now, SeaTac is actually a name in several Earth cultures, so it may not belong on this list. However, there is a Vulcan Admiral with the same name, so presumably SeaTac is also a Vulcan name. With so many languages out there in real life, let alone the fiction of an entire galaxy, some sounds are bound to match up sooner or later. One name we can definitely attribute to a Vulcan is the USS Sarek, the Excelsior class named after the superb ambassador that was still active into the 2370s, taking part in Operation Return. The ship, not the Vulcan. Sticking to the names present in the founding species of the Federation, we have the USS Shran, NCC-1413, which was a McGee-class vessel. This was one of the many casualties of the Battle of the Binary Stars, but for its brief time in the background, it was confirmed to be named after Phylek Shran of the Andorian Imperial Guard. Seems only fair that Starfleet would honour his name, as he was a major supporter of the Federation even before it formed, being a close friend of Captain Archer. The USS Gorkon NCC-40512 was an Excelsior class, which naturally meant it became the flagship for an admiral, in this case, Nechev. It was her mobile command base for the first anti-Borg task force, but continued to serve as a base of operations for various other missions well into the late 2370s. She chose the vessel as far back as 2366 as part of the 12th Fleet, as she had captained it before that. 
This ship was named after the famous Klingon Chancellor, who spent a great effort to ensure the Kitima Accords were signed between the Empire and the Federation in 2293, even though it cost him his life. Nice to see Starfleet honour his legacy, not just the Klingons, who also named a vessel after this Chancellor. Likewise, and for similar reasoning, there are a couple of mentions of a USS Kitima, one a Nebula class and the other a Noble class. The runabouts in Deep Space Nine were all named after rivers, but one, the USS Yolja NCC-25353, was named after a Bajoran river, and seen in the novels set around 2376 onwards. By the 32nd century, there are fewer Federation ships, but one of their number is the USS Nog, NCC-325070, an Eisenberg-class starship. This futuristic design is named after the most famous Ferengi in Starfleet history, and the first to join their ranks, Captain Nog. And I don't care what you say, he made the rank of Captain to me. Nevertheless, history remembers his status within Starfleet, even 817 years after he joined. There are several others that I could not discern an origin for, but they may simply be a language I can't identify, so I'll drop a list here to see if anyone else has any ideas. USS Dartaplin, USS De Chitsi, USS Jumat, and USS Minal. As I'm sure you've noticed, many of these vessels with alien names are drawn from the proper nouns of people and places of relevance to the in-universe lore, and in fact take most prominent alien names from Star Trek canon, stick a USS in front of them, and you'll probably find a memory beta page listing their appearances. You can attribute the lack of alien named vessels with either in-universe or real reasoning. Reality is probably because the names are easier to remember, can be familiar references, and because it's a show ultimately about the future of humans. In universe, you can say that we just don't see them, or that Starfleet is predominantly a human organisation, which also appears to be true. Not to mention that Starfleet's main shipyards, Utopia Planitia, are, or were, in the Sol system. So. These are the ones that I could find. There are probably more out there, such as the USS Spock. I mean, well, there has to be, right? Give me a character that you'd name a vessel after. Mine would be USS Phlox, I think, to give Denobula some love. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. I've been Rick, so long, and goodbye.